Would you be willing to resign before the next general election if it looks like Labour are not going to win with you as leader? Liz Kendall. Yes, because more than anything, I want Labour to win so we can change the country. Now, I think I'm going to be the Labour leader that the Tories fear. And that's right, because we need to win. And we are forgetting our winning ways as a party. It has been too long since we won those major elections. And if people think I'm not doing a good enough job, I think I'll prove that wrong. Um, but, 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 you know, you our party and what does, to and what does and that look like? Is that 10 points behind in the polls, moving look, back in local elections? What would the bar be? There this is being discussed MPs. by the Labour Party. Okay, there are some MPs who are talking about having a new process whereby if colleagues think you're not doing well enough, you know, you can go. I have to go through that as a local Labour MP. We should have that for the Labour leadership too, because above all, we cannot put our values into practice unless we win. And we have got to be the party that wins if we're going to make our values live. And should, yes or no, should that actually translate to in 2018, 2017 or 18, actually having a mid-term election for leader? Yes or no? You know, in terms of the date, I think that's up for the PLP, to the Labour Party to decide. But, you know, yes we or need no. to make sure Come we've on. got someone who can win. Jeremy Corbyn. To avoid the personality argument, I think there should be an opportunity to elect or not elect the Labour leader regularly every one or two years so that we don't go into this idea, the leader's vulnerable, you've got to get rid of the leader or don't get rid of the leader. The system is already there in place. Bring back democracy into the Labour Party and the Labour movement. Now, Andy Burnham. <laughs> Andy, 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 Andy. And Andy Burnham and Yvette Cooper, you were both ministers during some very damaging years when uh, Labour enjoyed very much having a go at each other in private, but they weren't brave enough to get rid of leaders in public. Should there be the opportunity to get rid of one of the four of you, whoever wins, if they're not up to the job? Well, of course there should. And so yes is the answer to your question. Uh, I'm somebody who represents the constituency where I grew up, and people in Lee tell it straight. And if they thought I wasn't doing the job, they would tell me. The people where I go the pub before I go to Everton matches, they would tell me, uh, they would tell me too. I'm somebody with my feet on the ground, and I wouldn't do anything to harm the interests uh, of the Labour Party. But, you know, because I do those things, I think I'm the right person to lead Labour, because I will take it out of the Westminster bubble. And if anything, this is the biggest change that Labour needs to make. It's looked like it's been run by an elite, talking but in a kind should, of code but, for but years. Just to be clear, I will make that change. But to be clear, that, but I will lead but Labour to, to victory but at the to, next But election. to be clear, Andy Burnham, you would support the party having a rule that said in a couple of years, if you win, they could boot you the out if you weren't up to it. The party already has that rule, uh, Laura. So the debate maybe is, do you make it easier, fewer MPs? Okay. But, but uh, yes, okay. the, the party comes first always. Yvette Cooper. Oh, the country comes first. The party already has rules to be able to do that kind of thing. I think. But they never use them. That's the point the, that your colleagues are making. People who should be deciding what are the rules for this leadership <laughs> contest are the people who are standing in the leadership but contest. It, but we should follow the rules principle. that the party sets out. The, the point of principle. You're, so you, you know, do we need to make sure that the party can respond? Yes, of course. But we also need to think of another thing. We've got to make sure we have a really good leadership debate right now that the party can choose the right person, not just to be the Labour leader, but also to be a Labour Prime Minister. And we should remember that then our focus has to be holding the Tories to account, holding David but, but, Cameron to account for the damaging things he is already doing to Britain, for the plans that they've got, not only to hit but, uh, public services far harder than they've ever but done on before, this, but on to make an this, but on this, society. But on, this, but on this very specific point, on this very specific point, if you win this contest, would you subject yourself to a leadership contest as the others have hinted that they would in a couple of years' time to make sure that you're still on it, even if you were miles behind in the polls? I think there are already ways in the Labour Party. So no, you would not support a change to the, the Labour Party to choose right, them, not okay. for us.